Tian Turner, born Anna Mae Bullock on November 26, 1939, in Nutbush, Tennessee, emerged from humble beginnings to become one of the most iconic figures in the history of music. Growing up in a sharecropping family, young Anna Mae experienced a turbulent childhood marked by poverty and parental abandonment. Her parents, Floyd and Zelma Bullock, had a tumultuous relationship, often leaving their children in the care of relatives. By the age of 11, Anna Mae and her sister were living with their grandmother. Despite these early hardships, Anna Mae's passion for music was evident from a young age. She sang in the church choir and demonstrated a natural talent that set her apart. Her powerful voice and dynamic sage presence would later become her trademarks. After her grandmother's death, she moved to Street Lewis, Missouri to live with her mother, where she attended Sumner High School and worked as a nurse's aide in her spare time. Career Beginnings and Breakthrough Tina's life took a pivotal turn when she met Ike Turner, a band leader of the Kings of Rhythm, at a nightclub in Street Lewis. In 1960, she impressed Ike with her vocal prowess and joined his band as a singer. Ike recognized her potential and changed her name to Tina Turner, marking the birth of a legendary partnership. Their professional and personal relationships soon flourished, and in 1960, they released their first hit, A Fool in Love, which reached number two on the R&B charts and crossed over to the pop charts. As Ike and Tina Turner, they produced a strain of hits throughout the 1960s and early 1970s, including River Deep, Mountain High, Proud Mary, and Nutbush City Limits. Their electrifying performances and Tina's unparalleled energy captivated audiences worldwide. Their live shows, especially their rendition of Proud Mary, became legendary, solidifying Tina's reputation as the queen of rock and roll. Collaborations and Solo Success Tina's collaboration with other artists played a significant role in her career. She worked with some of the biggest names in music, including Phil Spector, who produced River Deep, Mountain High, considered one of the greatest songs of all time despite its initial commercial failure in the United States. Tina also collaborated with Mick Jagger and the Rolling Stones, opening for them during their tours and even performing with Jagger at Live Aid in 1985. After enduring years of physical and emotional abuse from Ike, Tina made the courageous decision to leave him in 1976, walking away with nothing but her stage name and determination. The late 1970s were challenging for Tina as she struggled to rebuild her career. She performed in small venues and made television appearances, but her career seemed to be at a standstill. Resurgence and Global Stardom The 1980s marked a dramatic resurgence for Tina Turner. In 1983, she signed a new recording contract with Capitol Records and released her album Private Dancer in 1984. The album was a phenomenal success, featuring hits like What's Love Got To Do With It, Better Be Good To Me, and Private Dancer. What's Love Got To Do With It became her first and only number one hit on the Billboard Hot 100 and earned her multiple Grammy Awards, including Record of the Year. Tina's newfound solo success catapulted her to global stardom. She embarked on international tours, captivating audiences with her powerful voice, electrifying stage presence, and resilience. Her autobiography, I, Tina, co-written with Kurt Loder, was published in 1986, detailing her tumultuous relationship with Ike and her journey to independence and success. The book was later adapted into the 1993 film, What's Love Got to Do With It?, starring Angela Bassett and Lawrence Fishburne, which further cemented Tina's legacy. Personal Struggles and Early Marriage Tina Turner's life, while marked by extraordinary talent and success, was also characterized by profound personal struggles, scandals, and health issues. Her tumultuous relationship with Ike Turner is perhaps the most well-known aspect of her private life, casting a long shadow over her early career. Born Anna Mae Bullock, Tina met Ike Turner in Street Lewis in 1956. She joined his band, and they soon became romantically involved. In 1962, they married in Tijuana, Mexico, a union that would be marked by severe abuse and control. Ike Turner was a gifted musician but also a deeply troubled individual, grappling with drug addiction and violent tendencies. He exerted a tight grip on Tina, both professionally and personally, dictating every aspect of her life and career. The abuse was relentless and brutal. Tina endured physical beatings, psychological torment, and infidelity. Ike's control extended to the financial aspects of their partnership, leaving Tina with little autonomy. Despite their professional success as Ike and Tina Turner, which included hits like River Deep, Mountain High, and, and Proud Mary, the turning point came in 1976 when Tina finally found the courage to leave Ike. 
After a violent altercation in a Dallas hotel, she fled with just 36 cents and a mobile gas card. The divorce was finalized in 1978, and Tina agreed to leave almost everything behind except her stage name and two cars. This marked the beginning of a new chapter in her life, one filled with significant challenges but also immense opportunities for personal and professional growth. In the late 1970s and early 1980s, Tina struggled to rebuild her career. She performed in small venues and on television variety shows, often for meager pay. This period was marked by financial hardship and uncertainty, but Tina's resilience and determination never wavered. She fought tirelessly to reclaim her independence and establish herself as a solo artist. Health Battles Tina's later years were marked by significant health challenges. In 2013, she suffered a stroke just a few months after marrying her longtime partner, Erwin Buck. The stroke left her unable to walk, requiring extensive rehabilitation. Her health struggles continued in 2016 when she was diagnosed with intestinal cancer. She underwent surgery to remove part of her intestine and began homeopathic treatments in a bid to avoid chemotherapy. However, her health problems did not end there. Tina also battled high blood pressure, which had caused her kidneys to fail. By 2017, she was in need of a kidney transplant. In an extraordinary act of love, her husband Erwin Back donated one of his kidneys to save her life. The successful transplant surgery marked a turning point in Tina's health journey, although she continued to face ongoing health issues. Affairs and Scandals Throughout her career, Tina Turner was often the subject of media scrutiny, particularly regarding her personal relationships. After leaving Ike, Tina was linked to several high-profile figures, although she maintained a relatively private personal life compared to many celebrities. One of the more notable relationships was with David Bowie. In the early 1980s, rumors swirled about a romantic liaison between the two music icons. While neither confirmed a serious relationship, their mutual admiration and occasional public appearances together fueled speculation. Tina also faced her share of scandals. In the 1980s, at the height of her solo career resurgence, a controversial incident occurred when a former assistant, Gloria Jones, sued her for wrongful termination and harassment. The case was settled out of court, but it brought unwanted attention to Tina during a critical period in her career. Professional Triumphs Amidst Personal Struggles Despite the personal turmoil, Tina Turner's professional achievements were nothing short of remarkable. Her solo career, particularly following the release of Private Dancer in 1984, reached unprecedented heights. The album's success, featuring hits like What's Love Got to Do With It? and Private Dancer, marked her comeback and established her as a global superstar. Tina's resilience and ability to reinvent herself were key to her enduring success. She continued to tour and release new music well into her 60s, consistently drawing huge crowds and receiving critical acclaim. Her autobiography, I, Tina, co-written with Kurt Loder, was published in 1986 and later adapted into the successful film What's Love Got to Do With It, further cementing her legacy. Legacy and Reason for Fame Tina Turner's legacy is one of resilience, talent, and unyielding determination. She broke barriers in the music industry, becoming a symbol of strength and empowerment for women and survivors of abuse. Her distinctive voice, energetic performances, and genre-spanning hits left an indelible mark on rock, pop, and soul music. Tina's influence extended beyond music. She became a cultural icon, inspiring countless artists and fans with her story of survival and triumph. Her contributions to music and her advocacy for survivors of domestic violence earned her numerous accolades, including induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame twice, first with Ike Turner in 1991 and later as a solo artist in 2021. In addition to her musical achievements, Tina's life story continues to resonate through various media, her memoirs, films, and the critically acclaimed stage musical 10A. The Tina Turner musical, which opened in London's West End in 2018 and on Broadway in 2019, celebrate her extraordinary journey.